Now that in FIFA 20, we have literally got every single player that we could have gotten so far. We can finally make the best possible teams for every squad. More than likely, like today, we're going to be looking at Manchester United. When they signed, they already signed Van de Beek or something like that. EA could release an SBC like they did with um, my guy Sané. But we're not going to care about that. We're going to talk about whatever was released in FIFA 20 up to this point. First of all, we're going to go with the right ball. First of all, we're going to go with the formation. And one thing that I do want to say is this Manchester United team is goaded. Like EA really put some love into, into Man United because, you know, they have Pogba, they have players that are quite good. Yes, they didn't perform that well this season overall, but EA has the potential to give them special cards. Hence why a lot of these cards that we're going to see are cards that EA just chose to give these players because they were like, you know what, that's going to make us some good money, <laughs> basically. So <clears throat> I'll go with a 4 2 3 one, 2 formation because I would like to go with three midfielders. And on the right back position, it's the, you know, one of the best right backs in the whole game. My guy, Juan Bisaka. There is not another right back in Man United that can rival this guy. Actually, if he was to be injured, I have no idea who on earth they will put on that position. And... Um, the other player, and I am not a huge fan of this card, and as soon as he came out, I told everyone to stay away from, is my guy, Harry Mawaya. I mean, um, 75 pace is not good enough, but well, yet again, we're talking about the best team, just as a team, you know, just per player, per card. It's not, I'm not going to go fuss, be fussy or anything about this. I will in the attacking position, but we'll get there. We have... De Gea, which is a player that will surely, <laughs> is surely, he, he deserves a downgrade. He deserves a downgrade this year. Seriously, he has not played well, and it shows. We got lucky with EA giving us a Bailey because, well, as you can know and you can tell, Man United doesn't have the best defense in, 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 in FIFA. And in real life, it's the same. They don't have the best defense. So, Bailey is a player that is a FIFA legend and EA said, you know what, let's give him a storyline player that anyone can, can, can get and they literally saved this defense. The position that they have not been able to save yet is the left back position. Man United only has Luke Shaw who has not been playing very well. My guy Williams, yes, more than likely next year he'll gain an upgrade. But for this FIFA, we have Luke Shaw who is the best left back you can find for Man United. If we win, we... Uh, Premier League, it would have been easier. Now, <clears throat> in midfield, we have Fred. This is a card that was released at the start of the game, really, really early. An insane looking card that a lot of people, you know, they had to grind to get to level 34, but a lot of people kept using and using and using this card. Yeah, some people would say he's a fraud. Some people would say he doesn't perform like he's supposed to. Mate, the stats are there, the card's there. A lot of people used him, a lot of people joined him, enjoyed him. We have Pogba, which is another one. Yet again, he did not earn a single, a single M form in the whole game. And yet EA decided to give him a 95 because, you know, he's loved by us. He's loved by the community and he deserved it. We have another one that he did gain a few specials. He won, he got three, actually three M forms and one of them being in United. He also in the Simmer Heat, which is the best, <laughs> you know, the best promo we have ever gotten in FIFA. And uh, he got a 94 rated card, which is absolutely insane if you ask me. In the right back, in the right mid position, we have Daniel James, another player that has not been able to yet perform. Jeez, he started playing really well for Man United. Like everyone was excited. Oh my days, Daniel James, blah, blah, blah. And on the latest, like the last matches, people realize that he's nothing more than a super sub. Literally. While he is in FIFA, he is in real life. And there's a lot of things that have our guy Daniel James has to improve. And at least here, he has an insane looking card that a lot of people love. Because he also had the future stars. And a lot of people really enjoy that card. Our striker in here will 100% be RTTF Greenwood. This card is great. I was, I'm not the biggest fan of him because he's quite tall. But he does have a five star big foot. And if you like tall players, great, great looking card. Yes. Some people could say, use Martial. And the storyline one, he has a four star weak field rather than a three star weak field as his regular card. But um, that would mean that in the right wing, left wing position, I'll have to use Rashford. And I do not like Rashford. I tried Rashford and I didn't like him. In real life, Man United will put Rashford there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave him on the bench and I'm going to put my guy, left wing, and Martial. 
It became a 92. I've never been the biggest fan. But if you're going to play a car on the left wing, if you're going to play a car with a three star weak foot in your team, he better be on the left wing position at least, or on the wings, where it doesn't matter that much. That much. And, but it does matter, you know. To me, it does. But it doesn't matter that much there. And the thing I don't like about Rashford is just his dribbling overall. He doesn't feel responsive. I don't know about Martial, but I'm sure surely he will be better. At least he has 97. He has 93. So at least it, just there, Martial wins. Apart from that, the other super sub that Man United has, um, if I'm not me, well, actually, Man United ain't got that many super subs. I think I think I have the full team here uh, that I made, but I wanted to make it as a full video. So we have Matt and we have Lingard and we have actually this Rashford is better than that Rashford. But well. I can show you here. Literally, we have Mata, we have Lingardino, who got an 86 rated. Like he got two informs, which is crazy. Like he actually, he actually, you know, he got two informs. <laughs> he got more informs than Luke Shaw, which is bad because we need a Luke Shaw to get an inform. And we also have Chong, Rashford, Martial, that I already, you know, added on the other one and Mata but because we have Martial here more than likely you won't have Martial there you won't have him there and you'll have Chong Chong is another car that was quite interesting at the start of the game like people weren't expecting him to get a car and I think he was like 60k 60k this when he got really re-released re but he was 60k and a lot of people used him even with that absolutely horrendous balance but they did and they enjoyed him at the start of the game anything works literally anything works so well rate this team out of 10 down in the comments below let me know what you think about this man united let me know what you think about the way i did this do you think we should do it differently do you think you know maybe your boy current should go ahead and show you the team first at first and then i should go position by position but maybe that's not what you want like i wanted you to watch the whole thing so you could tell me what you want me to do at least on the first one so yeah thank you so much for watching guys and um, i hope to see you on the next one and i also put down below who do you want me to do next like what team do you want me to do next i am a liverpool fan so i might just do liverpool who knows love you all see you on the next one